The intent of this video is to demonstrate to first responders how to release a cable barrier system tension in a safe manner in the situation of a deeply entangled vehicle. On the taping date, we were in Rock County, Wisconsin in the Janesville Fire Department response area where there is approximately five miles of Gibraltar cable barrier system. Members of three different disciplines were represented during the taping, the Wisconsin State Patrol, Janesville Fire Department, and the Rock County Highway Department. Before we get into the demonstration of the release process, we feel that it is important that we describe to you what the cable barrier system is designed to do. It is designed to capture an errant vehicle and return it to the roadway. It also prevents crossover vehicles from entering opposing traffic. Over 70% of the vehicles drive away after impact with the barrier. Neil Pierce, supervisor at the Rock County Highway Department, will explain this in detail. For the purpose of this video, we have concentrated on the Gibraltar TL3 model as we have almost five miles of this system in the Janesville Fire Department response area. We have had this system in place for about three to five years. The system's location is dictated by crash site history and the State of Wisconsin Department of Transportation. The State of Wisconsin owns the cable, but Rock County maintains it. The cable itself is made of 21 strands of 12 gauge galvanized wire that are twisted together. The cable is then pre-stressed at 50,000 psi of tensile strength. There are three cables spaced at 20, 25, and 30 inches off of the ground. The cable in its final form weighs about one pound per foot. The posts are 11 gauge roll formed galvanized steel spaced approximately 15 feet apart from each other. They are held upright by an in-ground concrete sleeve about 15 inches in the ground. The posts are designed to either bend over or snap off at the base. In an average hit, six posts are affected and will be in need of replacement. The system in Rock County has six essential components. The in-ground sleeve, the posts, hairpins, lock plates, cable release posts, and turnbuckles. As mentioned before, the in-ground sleeve holds the posts upright. The posts are staggered in line to effectively hold the cable in place. The hairpin is the component that holds the cable onto each post. The locking plate holds the hairpin in at a uniform height throughout the system. The cable release posts are found at either end of the system, which anchors the cable in place. The turnbuckles are used to splice two pieces of cable together and also to connect into the cable release post. This system is very easy to dismantle and put back together. As you can see, you just simply remove the locking plate and this will allow the hairpin to freely be removed from the post. After several of these have been removed, there will be enough slack in the system that the cables can be positioned down on the ground. This is ideal if emergency responders needed to drive a vehicle through the median, carry a stretcher over the cables, or release a vehicle from the cables. If a vehicle becomes lightly entangled, creating the slack may be enough to remove the vehicle. If not, then we need to release the system at the cable release posts. Obviously, vehicle location will dictate this need. In order to release the pressure at the cable release post, all you need to do is drive any vehicle up to the release post. The yellow marker is flexible and is okay to drive over. A floor mat or fire hose could be used to protect the bumper from scratches. Simply put pressure on the release post to free the turnbuckle ends from the anchor channel. As luck would have it, not all of the turnbuckles released during our taping. This was actually a blessing in disguise. If a decision to cut the cable system becomes necessary, it is best to make a cut through the turnbuckle, not the cable. As you can see, a rotary saw with an appropriate blade cuts through the turnbuckle. There is no need to worry of a whip effect as the cable is held together in very short distances 
thus the release of energy is controlled. Regardless of how entangled the vehicle is, the tow vehicle should pull the vehicle in the direction from which it entered the cable. In conclusion, release first, cut the turn buckles if needed, and only in a life or death situation, cut the cable as a last resort. Mm -hmm.